Alright, so what's up guys? Uh, I'm back. So, this is part 2 of uh, my run through of Cubase LE5. Uh, so right now we're on edit, and oh, we were at split it cursor. Now what this is, if I record, I'll just record using the mic on my laptop. So, I'll just record a track real quick. I'll, I hope it records. Dun, dun. La 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 Okay, so I think that should record. So, let's play this. Might want to lower the level though, I'm not sure. This might be a little bit loud. So let's lower the level. And you can access the mixer just by going to this little button right here. And just click, it's the mixer. So let's play this. So there's the little clip right there. And what Split Your Cursor does, let's say I want to, well, snap should be off, which it is. Snap, what that'll do is it'll uh, put the cursor at the beginning of every uh, bar. So if I turn snap on, if I put the cursor right here, right there, it'll move to two. See? And uh, if, uh, if you put it on this half of, like, the middle of the bar, then it'll put it to the closest next uh, next bar. So that's how that works. And uh, so if I turn snap off, I could just put the cursor wherever. And that's how you set your uh, left and right uh, uh, lo lo locator, I guess. You have to set those in order to export uh, the song. But anyway, so... What I was at was split cursor, split at cursor. Now what this does, I think it's pretty much the same thing as just a split. But what you do is, say I just want to split it right here. I'll go right there, edit, and alt X will also split it. But if I split it right there, and there you go, you have two separate two separate tracks. See? So let's undo that. Control Z is also how to undo everything. And then control Control Alt Z, I want to say, is how you redo. Uh, actually, it's up here. It should say Edit, uh, Redo. Yeah, Control Z. Oh, Control Shift Z. Okay, so then Split Loop. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's if you're recording. Uh, you c you can do I think the loop recording, which uh, you set the frame using the locators right here. And then you would just record, and it would play over and over and over, and you keep recording, recording, recording that part. If you, and then you just move the tracks down, and you select which one sounds the best. So that's how that works. Um, so then range, not sure what this is. Uh, sorry, this you know, I'm like I said, I'm still getting used to a lot of this. Uh, select. From cursor on all select all on selected track. Not sure. Again, uh, duplicate. Oh, that's just to duplicate this track. Uh, so shift. I think it was shift D. Shift D. Yeah, control D. So control D, and it'll duplicate the yeah, duplicate the same track. So now, after this track's finished, it'll play it again. So that's that. And uh, if you notice, I didn't go down here to press play or anything. You could just hit space, and it'll play it. Uh, See so that? Yeah, that's that. And uh, you have duplicate, repeat. Uh, repeat, I think, is pretty much just looping that, uh, looping the, C, uh, the the track. And then fill loop. Uh, not quite sure what that is. Uh, move to. Uh, this, I think, will move the track to wherever, I think. Let me see. So I'm going to move the, tra the cursor right here. Control L. Hmm. Nope. Again, I'm sorry. I'm kind of not really that totally familiar with everything I'm showing you guys. I'm just showing you what Cubase has. You know, Cubase LE5 has. And if you know what it is, then by all means, you know, 
use it and good luck have fun but again i'm still getting used to a lot of this stuff i'm showing you guys so automation follows events i think that's how you change the automation like the tempo so if it's going at a 120 uh count 120 beats per minute uh then you can go to bar five or whatever and you want it to go to 140 and then you want to go to bar seven or whatever. You know, I mean, that's really short, but still, you get the general idea. Then you could change the automation, I think. I think that's what that is. Uh, see, zoom. That's how you zoom in the tracks. Uh, you could also zoom in. Or not, well, not really zoom, but you could. Oh, yeah, right here. Yeah. You can make the tracks bigger using that or smaller, you know, whatever. Oop, yeah, a little computer glitch there. And then... That's how you change the size of the actual bars. All right, it's still the same. I mean, either way, if you have it, if you have the bars like this or like this, okay? So, I mean, it's still the same amount of counts per bar, but it's just, oop, it's, there you go. Oop, there you go. Okay, so that's that. And then zoom in. This will just make the waves bigger so you could see them easier. So that's what that does. And then edit. Uh, enlarge selected track. I think that pretty much does what this does, I think. I don't know. Let's see. Let's select this track because it's not really selected yet. Now it is. Um, actually, wait. I wonder now if I selected it, if it would control L. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So control L, that moves it to wherever the cursor, uh, that moves the track to the cursor. Okay, so that's, again, I'm learning as I go along here. So enlarge selected track. Yeah, so if you enlarge it, it'll pretty much do what this does, which is just, oh, hold on a minute, what's going on? Huh. Okay, that's weird. Oh, that's why, duh. I don't know. Undo that. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Well, as you can see, I am not doing that great. Control Shift Z. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Oh, what the hell? Okay. There we go. There we go. You could also minimize it from that, too. So that should. Alright, good. We're good. Okay. So again, we got project, duplicate tracks, all this stuff. The pool, that's for wherever your audio, whatever you record, uh, whatever you did record, is going to be in the pool in audio. And then you can just go back, I think it's select that and listen in and see if it sounds, you know, see if it sounds the way you want it to sound. And then you can just import it back into the project. I think. <laughs> I know, I'm really helpful, ain't I? Uh, so then we have markers. Uh... That, again, not really too sure. The tempo track, that is for the automation. That's how you, uh, if you insert a tempo track, then you can change the automation. So that's that's the way I know how to change the automation. That other one, uh, I'm not sure. That I showed you I was talking about the automation. I'm not sure if that's the way you do it or not. But this how this is how you change the tempos. The tempo from like 120 to 140 to 120 to 160. And, you know, So that's how you mess with the automations. Or, well, not really automation, but, you know, tempo. Uh, anyway, uh, project setup. That's just to, get, you know, set it up however you need to. I think that's, let's just see what that says. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we got the frame rate, 30, uh, 30 frames per second. And then I think you can go up to 60. No, that's for video, I guess. Okay, so... Um, uh, then we got the bars and beats that display a format. Uh, then you got your sample rate, record format, 32-bit, I think, is, uh, the, no, 24, god damn. <laughs> so, uh, let's see, then we got wave file, you could record whatever type you want, you could record a wave, uh, AIFF, I think, a MP3, oh, okay, you can export as an MP3, you can record as a wave, and, uh, yeah, so that's that. And then start and length this is where you have to set your uh, left and right locators. You set this one at zero. And then the length, uh, you know, 
what have you. Uh, yeah, actually, I think you could set it to like an I hour. I uh, yet again. Um, again, uh, ran out of time, so I'm gonna be ending this video shortly. Uh, so yeah, that length, you know, that's just where your project uh, ends at. And then we got the audio uh, envelope fade in, fade out. These are all the effects you can get uh, on your like on the uh, ah. What are you doing? Okay. These are all the effects you could put on the track itself, not like effects, uh, like reverb and all that stuff. Uh, but this is like uh, envelope. This will quiet everything down uh, without having to use a mixer. Uh, so yeah, that's what envelope does. But if you uh, set the envelope too high, maybe you see a little... Uh, you could also use the envelope here. This also will do the envelope. So you listen to this now. Okay, if I envelope this, you can see the waves. They're getting smaller. Okay, so now if I play this. So you can hear. Okay. So now, this, but like I said, if you have something really quiet and you envelope to try and match that, even if you split the tracks here, uh, I tried doing that with my old uh, old interface you'll get a fuzzy noise in the background, which is not good for audio. Uh, so yeah, that's what the envelope tool does. Uh, audio, oh, ah. Fade in, of course, you can also select all of these pretty much from over here. Um, uh, sorry about that. Uh, fade in, of course, you can fade in. Uh, so, if you want to fade in, you could go right here. You have to make sure you select the track because if you have new track selected, it will not be up here. And it will actually tell you right here, no object selected. So you have to actually have a track selected and then you fade in by clicking on this and just moving your mouse up. Okay. So if I want to fade in, now if you listen. See. So then it fades in. And then we'll just undo that. And then fading out, same thing, click on it, just drag it, it's not if you listen. And then it's got a nice smooth fade out. So that's the fade out, and then, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much that audio. And then gain, you can mess with your gain. If you don't actually, I just mess. I just tweak every, a lot of this stuff on my mixer. Uh, so that's what this is. A noise gate that'll uh, get rid of a lot of that unnecessary fuzz noise. Uh, but if you set a noise gate too too high, uh, it'll actually mess your audio up. It'll actually like dampen everything. And it'll sound just squished. So yeah, be keep that in mind. But for now, I'm going to end this video. Uh, so this is uh, pretty much the audio. Um, I'll show you guys next what a lot of this stuff does. So again, I hope this is helping. If not, then try and find another video I couldn't, which is why I'm putting this up. So I will be back. All right.